A recent photograph has surfaced, providing another compelling proof that the HDC 3200 Corvettes frigates are indeed set to become the Miguel Malvar class vessels. The image, taken at the HD Hyundai Heavy Industries shipyard in Ulsan, South Korea, showcases the first ship of this class. This ship, previously identified as the future BRP Miguel Malvar, FF06, prominently displays the name, Miguel Malvar, on its aft, thus confirming earlier reports. The significance of this sighting cannot be overstated. Not only does the nameplate solidify the identity of the vessel, but the photograph also reveals key design elements that had been a subject of speculation. Notably, the aft section of the ship lacks an opening for a towed array sonar, a feature that was also absent in the earlier Jose Rizal class frigates. This aligns with prior confirmations from Max Defense PH that the new corvettes would be fitted for but not with the TAS, meaning the sonar systems are intended to be acquired and installed separately at a later date. There had been hopes that space allocation for these systems would be provided, but the absence of the opening suggests otherwise. Adding to the intrigue, the ship is already afloat, suggesting that it has been launched without the usual fanfare and official announcements from the Philippine Navy, the Department of National Defense, DND, or HDHHI. Typically, such events are marked by formal celebrations, making this quiet launch somewhat surprising. An additional point of interest in the recent photo is the presence of a close-in weapon system on the hangar superstructure. While the CIWS is still under cover, its silhouette closely resembles the Turkish-made Aselsan Gokdeniz 35mm dual-barrel gun CIWS. This observation corroborates earlier reports of a supply contract between Aselsan and HD Hyundai for CIWS units, which appear destined for the two HDC 3200 Corvettes slash frigates. The Miguel Malvar class represents a significant step forward for the Philippine Navy, both in terms of capability and modernization. These ships are expected to enhance the maritime defense and operational reach of the Philippines, contributing to national security and regional stability. The incorporation of advanced weaponry and systems, like the Aselsan Gokdenis CIWS, underscores the Navy's commitment to equipping its vessels with cutting-edge technology. Moreover, the transition from the Jose Rizal class to the Miguel Malvar class highlights an evolution in design and capability. While the absence of certain features, like the TAS opening, might initially seem like a limitation, it aligns with the strategic approach of phased capability upgrades, allowing the Navy to manage budgets and integrate new technologies over time. The emergence of the BRP Miguel Malvar FF06 at the HDHHI shipyard is more than just a milestone. It is a testament to the progress and future potential of the Philippine Navy. As these vessels move closer to entering service, they symbolize the nation's strides toward a more robust and modern maritime defense force. The quiet launch of the BRP Miguel Malvar may have lacked the traditional celebrations, but its significance resonates loudly within the defense community, marking the dawn of a new era for the Philippine Navy. And that wraps up our look at the future BRP Miguel Malvar, FF06, and the exciting developments for the Philippine Navy. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on more naval news and military technology, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Make sure to click the bell icon so you never miss an update. We'd love to hear your thoughts on the new Miguel Malvar class ships, so drop a comment below. Also, check out these other videos for more on naval technology and defense updates. Thanks for watching. This is Philippine News and we'll see you in the next video.